welcome to whiteboard programming and today we'll be talking about basic ml concepts that you must understand to get your journey started in the world of machine learning first off the goal of machine learning is to produce an algorithm that can learn patterns and inherit in data to perform a specified task being said that let's cover some of the key concepts in machine learning number one features these are attributes that describe an instance in a data set. For example, in the case of a customer portfolio, we would be talking about factors like number of purchases a customer has made, his age, whether he or she is a follower on social media or not, if he or she has registered in the newsletter or not, and what products have they bought. All this will be regarded as features and we can simply record them in a spreadsheet and then try to calculate customer lifetime value. Further, to perform machine learning models successfully, we'll need to establish a statistical relationship between at least some of these features and customer lifetime value. Number 2. Feature Selection and Engineering one of the most important steps in developing machine learning models is optimization. The model that we develop needs to perform at its most optimal mark and one way to ensure this is to train the model using the best features. By best features I mean selecting few features and not all at the same time as some features may not have meaningful statistical relationship to the variable we are trying to predict while others may closely correlate with one another. Well, both of these scenarios introduce noise which can reduce the model performance. Feature selection is what we employ here and is known as the process of selecting optimal features to include in the training phase. Similarly, the features in their raw form may not provide enough meaningful value to train a performance model. In addition, some features might not be used at all in their raw form. So at times we need to change their format to best suit our prediction model and eliminate noise. This process is what we call as feature engineering. Number 3. Dataset. This is what we call as raw material for the prediction system and is regarded as historical data used to train the system and detect patterns to design algorithms. The dataset is usually composed of individual data properties that are readily available for analysis. Number 4. Learning or Training It is the process in which patterns of a data set are detected. Also, this is what we call as the heart of machine learning as once patterns are identified, predictions can be made with new data being detected into system. For example, historical data from book purchases can be used to analyze customer behavior in purchasing processes. Let's say title visited, categories, purchase history, etc. And we can easily make a purchase recommendation to new customers who follow known or learned patterns. Number 5. Tuning Tuning involves optimizing the parameters of an algorithm to find the best combination for your specific data set. Each ML model has number of tunable parameters and each parameter has potentially large number of options. Fortunately, there are automated ways to find optimal combination of these parameters and this is known as hyperparameter optimization. Number 6. Models After training the system, we get what we call as a model to make a prediction. We can take up a model to assess new data entered and predict the output based on on series of patterns detected in training. For example, if a model with historical data is trained to detect risk of credit card cancellation, the model will classify new customers based on their behavior to predict the cancellation. Number 7. Validation Once a model has been built, we need to establish how well it performs the given task. In machine learning, it is important to establish the best performance metric and this will vary depending on the problem you are solving. Typically, when starting a machine learning project, we will first split up the data set we are working on into two parts. One will be used for training the model and other one will be used for testing phase. And this testing in machine learning is usually referred to as validation. We use this to make predictions on reserved data sets and to determine how well the model is able to perform the given task. So that's all to give you the basic knowledge of machine learning concepts as a beginner. I hope this video was helpful to you and delivered value. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for future updates.